Hi, my name is Romeo Carvalho and today I'm going to show you a quick overview of our two UNB base. Uh, we're just going to go through some of the standard buttons you're going to deal a lot here. And to start with, I'm going to show all the networks you can use and, and create using UNB base. That's standard base network. If you click on this button to create a new MSBN, it's this one here to create a new MIBN. M theory, use this one, and you can create a new object-oriented base and network of OVM. Uh, on this window here for base and network, you can actually create three different networks. One is a standard base and network, where you have random variables, just you know, standard discrete nodes. The other one is that you can actually uh, insert uh, decision nodes and utility nodes. And then you can create an influence diagram, and you can also uh, insert continuous nodes, and you will have a hybrid based on network. With discontinuous nodes, they just uh, support Gaussian distributions. Well, some of the buttons we have here is besides you know open creating new files, new networks, you can actually open existing network, and the files that we support are uh, Hugging Format .NET. We also support .oobn for the oobn files. We also support XML beef, and that was created by uh, Dr. Fabio Cosman. Uh, we have extended the format. I think his version was 0.3 or 0.4. I'm not sure. And we are currently on version 0.6. We added a few extra representations on the XML file, and we changed it a little bit. Uh, we also support Netica file. DNE uh, has some limitations, but you can actually open some of the files. Uh, and we can also open Pro files using the all format and the UBF file that's a UNB base format. It is used for uh, MIBIN files. So let's just go here in examples folder and open uh, DNE file. There you go. And here you have the nodes. You're always going to see um, the table on the top and the nodes. Every time you click on the on a certain node, you see here the size gets uh, change. It changes to fit the table. So if you have a big table here, it's going to change so you can see everything. Uh, and the standard we have is you have the parent. I think got a smaller one here. So you have a parent on the top, here on the left you have the name of the parent and then the states of the parent and for each state of the parent you have a, a the states of the that node that you're looking at. In this case radar mode. So if you have with two then you can see for target type blue one and you have the other parent this is the target type this is detect and it varies you know detect yes no yes no and you see here that we don't keep repeating blue 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 one, blue two, red one, red two, and so on. You have a few extra things here happening on the new GUI. You can actually right click and change the color of a specific node. We didn't have that before. You can resize to fit the node, so now you can see the whole name inside the node. Um, you can actually add new states. So if you click here and you press this button, you're going to add and remove states. And this button here is to compile the Bayesian network. So once you compile, oops, I guess this file has some problems. Oh, it has some probably zero here. Well, let's change that to one. I have to press enter, otherwise it doesn't compute the change. That's why this one didn't change. So if I press enter, and now if I, but you can see here that I have uh, all the nodes. And here we have this new representation, belief bars we didn't have before. So if I enter a finding here and I propagate, so I can click here or I can double click on the node. So you can see UHRR now has 100% on blue, but you can do it, change it to blue 2, and you can see that change here also. And if I propagate it, and you can see that the values change for the other you know, target type now has a higher chance of being blue too. Uh, so I can contract all. Oh, 
the variables I have here on the left, I can expand them. I can see the, the label or I can see the description. So as I can see the name or the description, if I change the description, how you see that the names here on the top changed. Um, I can actually uh, go back to edit mode and make some changes if I want to. So the other buttons we have is to insert an edge. So let me go back to the network we were creating here. So I can you know, create an edge between this variable and the other one. There you go, you have a new edge. You can actually select a node and delete it. Um, so I can just click this button here. If I just want to select a node and move it around, I have to click here and then move around the node. And I have a few buttons here you can see. You have the print, the preview, and the save as image. So I can save the graph, that's what you're seeing here on the bottom, or I can do the same thing with the table. So for instance, let's get this table here, and if I hit preview, that's what you get. And if I have the graph and I hit preview, let's just say graph, and that's what you get. Okay, and you can fit to page and you can you know zoom in, zoom out 100 percent and so on. And you can also save this as an image. So again, let's just say graph. And here I click it to print. Okay, wrong button. What I wanted was to save. So if I go here, I can save as a PNG. JPEG, GIF, or BMP file format, and all I have to do is, you know, choose the location, get a name, and I have to actually say what the extension is. So if I want PNG, I just go ahead and say .png. Uh, UNB base, that's something we always have to put in, so you always have to put the extension you're trying to, to save, because if you see here, we put everything together. So, you know, you have the computer is going to find out which one you actually want to do if you just put the extension. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to figure it out. Uh, well, that's just how it works right now. Uh, some other things we have is we can actually change the look and feel. So, you can have the Java metal look and feel, you can have the modif look and feel, and you can go back to your system's home system look and feel. So, in this case, it would be the Mac. Um, you can actually organize these windows in cascade or you can just put them as tile and you have a help here but this help unfortunately is only in Portuguese and it's kind of out outdated so I would not trust it too much that's why we're creating these new tutorials and that's why uh, we're creating uh, written tutorials in English and soon we're gonna have this changed to support that also um, and here you can, you know, go ahead and, and see all the commands we have, and what they are for, and so on. Um, besides that, we have other things. We have a few tools inside UNB Base. And that's what we call Metaphor, Medical Metaphor, and UNB Miner. And I'm not going to talk about this one here. We're going to leave that for later. Uh, but those are just tools you can open inside UNB Base. And here you can see that that's like another software inside it. Um, we can also do sampling so from, from a network. We can create the sample uh, data and learning would be the opposite and you can actually have learning here. So you choose a data set. In this case we have a text format and you can do some learning. But I'm not going to go, I'm going to show you this function yet. I'm just going to show it. We have it here and we can do it. So in this case you have to choose a network to do the sampling. And in the other one, you would have to choose um, the data to learn it. And you can see here the about UNB base, and the about UNB base, you see some information what UNB base is about, uh, its current version, uh, the build ID, and some information about the people that you know work in UNB base and what they worked on. Uh, I guess that's it. That's uh, just introduction and quick overview of UNDBase. I hope it helped. 
Thank you. See you again soon.